It, it's interesting you mentioned the movie because as I acknowledge, like a fan for you know, most of my adult life, and then you see that movie and realize how little you didn't know. I don't know, did that, did that change things? That people now know what was going on behind the scenes. They have a kind of a, a closer look at some of the challenges and struggles that you guys were dealing with. Yeah, um, definitely. Of course, people knew that Bobby um, was quote unquote kicked out of the group, but they didn't understand the backstory. And we came out in a time and an era where there was no social media. So it wasn't about airing your dirty laundry to get more likes or whatever that was. You swept everything under the rug or you put it in the closet and closed and locked the door. And um, I think that was the thing that allowed us to have over 30 million people watch that story because they didn't know the backstory of New Edition. It was like, you know, in the last um, 40 years, there have been so many different things that have happened in our lives, especially all the way up to that Home Again tour, which was probably the most trying time of our career. Um, that people wanted to really just be able to have that open window and, and visual into. Mike, that was a lot that you guys put out there. In hindsight now, are you happy that you did it? Because you guys co-produced that, right? So you you had to be open about sharing that information. If we didn't, bro, right, what would it be you just said before you asked Ronnie the great question and that miraculous answer is there's a lot of stuff you didn't know. If we didn't insert that into the movie, then what would you walk away talking about? And to be honest with you, let's just be straight up and keep it funky. Nobody wanted to make the new edition movie. Okay? Okay. When we went and sat down with people, they told us blatantly in our face, and me, Ron, and Ricky were 90% of the meetings. That's right. They said, I'd rather make the Bobby Brown story. So we were fighting against a member in our group in terms of movie interest that we always had to defend the other five by saying, but what about us? We have a story too. And that's what makes this story special. You'll learn more watching our story that it's not just about Bobby and the dramatic things that carried on and went on in his life, but you'll get the inner workings of New Edition. And I think that's why it was so successful because people was just doing this, scratching their head all three nights and was like, when it was over, the conversation just wasn't about our brother Bobby. The conversation was about everybody. For everybody who's watching and knows everything that's going on, they've seen everything, you guys are cool, right? It seems like your brothers out there who are enjoying each other, even with all the stuff that has gone on in the past and behind the scenes. That's, that's right. the best that's part. We yeah, laugh at right. that right now. Yeah. Yo, remember when you did this to me? Yeah, uh -huh. but you was playing me when you did that. Like, it's so <laughs> funny we could have that conversation. Go ahead, Ron. Nah, nah, that's it. It's a brotherhood. We've been through some things, but we got around the corner um, to a whole lot of blessings of just being here. I mean, it's a brotherhood. And, you know, sometimes you got to put your brother in the headlock. Sometimes you got to let him go and give him a hug. And uh, we've been through everything that um, any family member um, has gone through with their brothers, sisters, mothers, cousins, and we love it, man. We love each other.